Hi, I'll be installing the SMTP server today. So the first thing you want to do is go into Server Manager and you could access that several ways. You could go into this computer or my computer and click Manage and it'll bring up the Server Manager or in Start Menu and bring up the Server Manager this way. Now you want to select Add Roles and Features and this screen, the first screen you just want to click Next. The second screen you want to select Role Based or Feature Based Installation which is the first choice and you select Next and then you want to select the server that you're going to install the SMTP server on and I've selected the server and I'm going to click next. Now this next screen you want to scroll all the way down to web server. Now SMTP server is a part of the web server in IS and in fact it is a part of the legacy web server IS6. So even though I am on Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2016 ha has an IS10 offering the SMTP server is actually installed on IS6 so you might want to select or you will want to select IS6 but suppose you do not uh, on the next screen so I have not in I have not selected IS6 here so on the next screen if I scroll all the way down it will actually prompt me for the dependency so if I scroll all the way down to the S's and select SMTP server you notice it prompts me here and I'll simply click add features and I am going to select next now if I go back notice it has selected that now if I want scripting with that I can also select scripting and keep in mind this is the first screen of the selections the server roles here and underneath the server roles you want to go to web server IS and under management tools you want to select IS6 now I'm going to click next and SMTP server in the features here so once you select SMTP server I'm going to click next and uh, simply install and this will take about one minute or two minutes and I'm going to pause the video here and come back in two minutes So the installation has completed after two minutes. So once that's done installing, we'll have to configure it. So what I often do is I go into PowerShell and I'll open up as an admin PowerShell and I will often reset IS by typing in IS reset. And while that is occurring, let me put this aside here, waiting for to restart. Once that's started, I will go back to Server Manager under Tools. You'll notice there is a IES Information Manager 6.0. I'm going to select that. And you'll see the SMTP has been installed. But it has not started, so I am going to highlight that and start the server. Now I'm going to right click and open up Properties and 90% of the time what you have to configure is simply the going to the delivery tab advanced and putting in simply a host which is the actual SMTP server keep in mind what you've installed here is not really the SMTP server but actually an SMTP relay now now in my experience 90% of the time all you have to do is put in the host and you're all set however uh, let's double check certain aspects of this so I am going to go into my PowerShell again type in WF for the firewall and make sure you have port 25 open so if I search here and scrolling down just making sure you have port 25 open so that's port 25 and it is open and also so for me my mail server actually is not on port 25 so you'll notice I've set up a SMTP and I've added 25 and 587 so 587 is actually my server port here so the other aspects that I have to configure is the outbound connection 
where I have to put in 587. And keep in mind, this is just particular to my configuration. But if your mail server you're connecting to has a different port than the default 20, port 25, SMTP port 25, you'll have to put that in here. And also my mail server requires authentication. So I am gonna put that in also. Cowboy. Cowboy.org, and I will be typing in my password. Now, oftentimes, what ends up happening is you will have to also configure the permissions. So, under the access tab, click relay, and instead of only the list below, you have to select all except the list below and I am going to click OK. So now that I have my access restriction set up, I want to test the sending of an actual email. So I am going to go into my SMTP client here. So I ha I'll have a link in the description area where you could download an SMTP client where you could test out the connection. So I'm going to go ahead and download my client that I wrote and this does require framework 3.5 so you might have to install .NET framework 3.5 and I'm gonna go in here run the application and it'll ask me if I really want to run it because it doesn't recognize the exe I'm gonna type uh, click more info here and run anyway and I'll bring up my test SMTP test mail client and I am going to put in port 25 so keep in mind this is to connect to the SMTP relay server I just installed so I do not need authentication whereas when I was configuring my relay server to connect to an SMTP that delivers I needed authentication so my SMTP server that I just installed actually does run on the default port 25 and I will be testing out an email and test and I will be hitting send and you'll notice the email has been sent now let me show you some of the issues you might run into so that email was sent however if I go back into properties and I reconfigure the relay to what the default value was notice the error that I'll get now when I hit send you'll see I got this email I, I mean I got this error message so if you get this error message what you would like to do is once again configure the relay restrictions going to access relay and select all except the below now oftentimes in production I would like to restrict certain IP addresses that can connect to my mail server so keep that in mind that might be an option you may also want to do in which case you will have to put in the local 1 127 127 allow the 127 0 and also the server IP address itself. In this case I will not be configuring that because I've selected all except the list below which has nothing. So I'm going to click OK here, apply, and once again when I hit send it works. Now the other aspect you might need here is for example I will change the SMTP so that it cannot contact my SMTP server. Now it will still say it's sent because it doesn't know any better. However, I will not actually receive the email. Now to debug that, for example, you can go into C colon where the SMTP server is installed, INET pub, go into the mail route and click on any one of these so you'll see it might be in the queue. So this was undeliverable because the SMTP so if your 
SMTP relay server can't connect to an SMTP server, you your queue here will fill up and you'll see a lot of EML files. So for example, if I open this up here, you'll notice delivery failed, but it's still in the queue and it's going to keep on retrying. And this is the email that I was trying to send. You'll notice my test here and the subject line. So that is a way to debug this is by reading those those uh, email headers. Now if you go to the bad email folder you'll notice this is also labeled as bad. I can open it up in a text editor and also see the same thing in previous emails that I was not able to deliver. So you see test 2 for example. So that is uh, several ways to debug it but uh, for the most part if you follow the instructions that I have should be fine. Now uh, once again I, I would like to emphasize some of the configuration parameters. So in my experience 90% of the time all you'll have to do is configure the relay restrictions and also under delivery in a corporate environment lots of times internally all you have to do is configure the smart host here um, and 90% of the time that is all that's required um, in other cases you'll have to you know configure the port normally this is the default port 25 and also the security the security here so you might need authentication but in most cases in most corporate environments it is simply anonymous um, but that's really it that's what I wanted to mention and uh, keep in mind I will have these links in the description area where you could download my uh, simple SMTP test client where you could test out your installation after you have installed it uh, but that's really it and uh, please subscribe if you found this helpful and thank you for watching